Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Mickey here and it's been a long time between videos. I've been busy packing boxes, scrubbing a house from top to toe and moving to the beach. And I have not crafted in quite a while. And I thought seeing it's now the middle of November, maybe we need to think about doing something Christmassy. So I decided the first thing I'm going to tackle is to make myself a little journal for December daily. Now I've undenied about this a lot because I've decided this year I don't want to do December daily as a purely memory keeping thing. I want to do something more creative every day. I do memory keeping in my um, daily journaling so I don't really need to double up on everything but I think we might play along with Defemerembra with 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel and goodness knows what else. But I thought, how about I start by making a little journal? So I grabbed a piece of cardboard from a box I found in the recycle bin and I went through my stash. I found this gorgeous paper, which I was never sure how to use because the pretty part, the gorgeous Santa, is on the left-hand side. So I decided to use it on the inside of my journal so we can actually see it. I don't want to put it on the outside. And then, of course, gorgeous Mr. Santa is hiding over in the back corner. And I found this green piece of paper. It's not a perfect fit, but it was in my stash and I've decided to use it. And I thought we'll put some decoration on the front here. We'll start with that. So the first thing I did, I grabbed another piece of cardboard and I tore off some of the lining to re, um, show the corrugation. Decided not to pick it all off. Let's leave it a bit rough and ready. I really think I want to do something a bit grungy, messy, fun for December. So I thought, how about we create a cover that sort of reflects that. So there's the first thing I've done. I did put some white gesso on it, and then I used this Reeves Brilliant Red. It, I bought a little pack with all the different colours, but that was sort of the brightest Christmas red I could find. Now, please excuse the shaking. The time, this is a new setup that I'm just having a little play with at the moment. So I've noticed that things are a little bit shaky, but uh, I'll work on that as time goes by. So I think the first thing we need to do is get this down on my cover. It doesn't have to sit down perfectly flat or anything because I might even tuck a few things in around the back and the sides. I haven't decided yet. We'll just wait and see what happens. Haven't crafted for so long, I've almost forgotten how to do all this. So we might just pop that down right there. There we go. Just hold that down just for a few seconds. This glue is very fast. It will adhere quickly. So that can stay there like that. And then this all started and I picked this piece of scrap that I found because I thought I wanted to use this journaling card which says, says spread cheer this holiday season and the colours of course are a perfect match. That's why I ended up, see normally you would put this smaller piece on the inside but of course I'm doing everything in reverse but that's okay. So let's pop this down on top. Again, I'm not going to go right to the edges so that if I want to tuck things in, I can. I have really no idea what I'm doing here, but I'm just playing. It's just nice to actually craft again. It's been so long. The one thing I haven't found yet is my little foam pads. I've only got a couple of boxes where they could still be. So when I find those, I will use some foam pads underneath this to support it a little bit so it doesn't get too bent so we have that then the next thing i wanted to include these two pieces again they're in a more muted colorway and i thought well i think that would be a perfect match for what i'm trying to do here so let's pop a bit of glue on there oh, okay and we will tuck this let's see actually that might look quite nice there. 
Oh, I think I like that. No, let's do it more like that. Mm. Oh, I can't decide. Anyway, mm, that will do. Again, we need a bit of foam tape to support that around the edge. And then we might put these down the bottom. Oh, this glue, it's amazing. It's so warm today. And this glue literally flies out when it's warm. So maybe we need to do a matching piece down here. Let's not hide all those berries. There we go. That's that done. I think I might just grab a wet wipe though and just wipe my fingers and things quickly because I'm getting covered in glue here. And I've got to go out for lunch later today. Right, so we've got those down. Now, the other thing I was thinking of adding was some, something sparkly. Now, in here, I have some cute little sequins that are, they're not super shiny. They're more, almost a little bit vintage. So I thought maybe we could add a few of those on here somewhere. Oops, I didn't grab my tweezers, but that's okay. We can just pop these down. This glue is fabulous. It looks very bright and white now, but it will disappear beautiful and clear when it dries, so I'm not too worried. And then we'll put a few up here. How's everyone going? I feel like I haven't been around for so long. I have been watching a few videos, but I am days and days behind. What's everyone else doing for December Daily this year? I just can't. I'm struggling to make decisions. It's amazing how much moving and everything takes out of you. It's just, I'm, I'm, my brain's just not firing on all cylinders at the moment. There we go. And then we might even put some down here. Put, tell me down in the comments what your December daily plans is. I'd love to know. The one thing I have been doing, even though I've been so busy packing and moving, I have certainly, I've just about got all my planner things organised for 2023, so I'm very happy about that. And, of course, I will do a video on that down the track. I'm just waiting on a couple of things to still arrive in the mail. So once they've arrived, I will let you see what my plans are. Okay. And one green one there. Whoops, a daisy. Come here, you. Oh, I wish I'd grabbed my tweezers. I'm filming this in a different room to where all my supplies are because things are a little bit different here than they used to be at my other place, but I will sort it out over time. Now, I think maybe we might need to grab my bling box and see if we can find some appropriate bling. This is a gorgeous Cadbury tin I got not long ago. We had them at work and we ate all the chocolates at work and then we I got to keep the box and take it home. So let's see, what do, I've got so much bling. Maybe, oh, I've got something nice and green here. Let's have a look what I've got hiding here. Um, oh, they're quite cute. How about we give those a go? I'll pop that over there. Maybe a couple of these dotted around. Might have to try to see if this glue will work. Oh, yep, it's still working. Now oh, it tends to get so clogged up so easily. What if we add a few of these? Okay, there we go. Oh, I really need tweezers for this job, I think. But that's okay for now. Oh, so, are you participating in Defemer? Oh, now, where did... Oh, there it is. Are you doing Defemer Ember at all? I felt like I missed out last year because I didn't do any of it. And I had real FOMO. So I think this year 
I will definitely play around with some of it. I think it's fun, or it should be. And I know a lot of people aren't doing it Christmassy themed, but I'm partial to Christmas things. So I think I will definitely add a Christmassy element to it. Okay, we'll get this. Oh, it's, of course it's stuck to my fingers, isn't it? Oh dear, come here, you naughty little thing. Okay. So, will you please go on there, you naughty little thing? Oh, there we go. No. Oh, it's determined to stick to my finger instead. Never mind. We'll get there. No rush. Okay. So, I don't want to put anything through... Oh, this is, come on, get down there. What am, oh, this is annoying. But there we go, oh, now if I don't touch it. All right, because I think what I will do is use some sari silk or something as a tie. So we won't sort of put any bling through the middle. And I might just about leave my cover like that. It's very simple, basic, but it will certainly do the job. Oh, look, I've got glue everywhere. So that's a good start. Now we need to make a very simple, signature i just want one signature to go inside so i have already prepped some papers and things i'll show you what i intend to use so get rid of that we're going to, i found this in my stash and even though these two are actually not from the same company have a look at that i'm sure they've used the same artwork so i thought this will be a great cover for my signature we're keeping things very simple i'd rather have my signature very plain and boring and then of course i can decorate now i'm going to just glue this down just slightly it doesn't have to be perfect because i will use that as a pocket so if in my travels and having christmas fun i find bits and pieces i want to use in my december daily I can just sneak them in the pocket. Or if I decide to follow any of the prompts I see on Instagram or something like that, and like a certain day has a particular prompt and I think, oh, that'll be perfect, you know, for day 16, I can just sneak it in there. So that's going to be the cover. Then what else I grabbed? This is a little piece of wrapping paper, but I thought the colors worked really well. I found a cute little paper bag. This is a piece of, this is one of the pieces of wrapping paper from, that I, um, you know, packing paper that I use to pack up my things when I moved. I have a piece from, this is from a gift bag that I found in my stash. I have a piece of coffee dyed paper, another piece of coffee dyed paper, but that also has a few splashes of bronze on there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Um, this is just a piece of scrapbook paper I found. And then I've got this little piece of um, baking paper that has some paint splotches on it. So I think what we'll do, that of course is my cover. Let's have that as my centre one. And then let's just put them together. Now, the larger ones, I've simply folded them in. I'm not going to sew them, uh, sew them or glue them down as pockets. I'll decide if I want a pocket or whether I would just prefer a flap when I actually get to use that page. I might also find that I want to, you know, flip it over that way instead. So I thought I'll just fold them to get them sort of roughly to the right size. And then we'll leave it at that. Now, let's see, what do we got? Pop that one there, then let's go for another printed one. Trying to get a little bit of contrast happening. And that one there, what have I got left? Okay, then we might put the paper bag. Can have those at a different height. And then we'll have this. Again, see, I've just left the flap there so I can decide what I want to do with it when I actually use it. And this is, just, this is actually just a piece of uh, brown exercise book paper. I got this at day, so it's got very faint lines on it, but 
it's fun to use and I don't have to get messy coffee dyeing. And we have enough pages to do the entire month. And then we can just pop that in there like that. And now all I have to do is sew it in. So I will do that and I am ready for December daily. Very basic, very simple, but the one signature certainly doesn't fill this book. I've got room for expansion and even if it ends up fat, I don't care. But there we go. A really easy way to make a junk journal for December daily, if that's the sort of thing you might like to try. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you are safe and or staying safe and being well, especially with COVID running rampant again. And um, until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye for now.